first thing that I'm going to do is apply my fairy ears. I'm just going to do this so it gives them time to settle onto my skin and stick on. I got the ones from Aradani Studios. I bought them on Amazon. I believe they were $20. I know you can get them cheaper too, but these were just the ones that I found. I'm going to put spirit gum on the inside part right here and here, and then I'm just going to stick it onto my ears. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. So this is what they look like on once the color is blended. It actually looks really cute with your hair down to kind of hide the seams too. So don't worry if you don't want to invest in getting liquid latex because you can totally just wear your hair in little wispies over it and it still looks really cute. First I'm going to prime my face and I'm just using the MAC Matte Cream Primer. This is a silicone based primer and what this is basically going to do is just give our face a really smooth finish and make the foundation go on really even. So the foundation that I'm currently using and I really like is the Amazonian Clay Foundation by Tarte and this is in the color Light Beige. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face and my neck. So next I'm just going to be putting some concealer underneath my eyes. This is just going to brighten it up a little bit because we're not putting um, a darker color there and I just want it to be very bright. And I don't have too much of a problem with dark circles, but I do want it to be a little bit brighter. So I'm just taking a little bit of my concealer. I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I'm in the shade NC20, and it's really dirty. Don't judge me. But I'm just going to be putting a little bit of this. Well, not exactly a little, but we're going to be putting this underneath our eyes. So before I move along, I'm just going to set that under eye area with my banana powder for my Anastasia contour kit. So next I'm going to be taking my Makeup Forever flash palette and this is the artist one so it has tons of bright colors. I'm going to be mixing some of these colors to put a kind of like frame around the top half of my face. So I'm just going to start putting it at my hairline. And I mixed the green and the brown for this, so it's more of like an army forest green color, which is kind of what I was going for. And then I'm just going to take this really weird sponge paintbrush and I'm just going to blend some of that down. mix the green and the white from that same Makeup Forever palette and I just used a little q-tip so I'm just gonna be applying that kind of like halfway into the green and down a little bit more to blend it out this is gonna give it that lighter green effect so what I'm gonna do next with the base color on is I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this is a brush that I don't really care about at all, so I don't really mind if this gets on it. But I'm just going to kind of buff it out a little bit because this grease paint is kind of hard to blend. It's easy to blend together, but then if you rub it too much, it like moves around. So I just kind of want to blend it and make sure that there's no like natural skin color shining through kind of thing. Okay, so this is the base color. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more dimension to the face. So the color we're using to create that dimension is this dark green color right here. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and we're just going to be applying it up by the hairline and blending it down. So now that there's a darker color on the hairline, I'm just going to take another big fluffy brush and kind of blend it out. So next we're gonna move on to the eye makeup, so I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more. I'm gonna start by applying a color all over the lid. This is by Makeup Geek, and it's their color Pixie Dust, and I'm just using a flat shader brush for this. This is the Sigma E55, it's a little mini one. But we're just gonna blend out the Pixie Dust color. If there's a little bit of green left on it, that's okay because we're going to be putting another shade in here so we don't really need to worry about it too much for now. 
but you're just gonna blend it out so there's no harsh edges. Next, I'm picking up Makeup Geek's Eyeshadow and Poison Ivy, and it's like a forest green color. And I'm dipping that fluffy brush from It Cosmetics into it, and we're gonna put this in the crease to darken it up a bit. So with the same green that I applied up here, I'm also gonna be putting that in the crease just to kind of tie them in a little bit easier. And that one's gonna go in the crease, but higher up towards the brow bone. Then for the brows, I'm just gonna be taking this 266 Angled Brush by MAC, and I'm just gonna take a dark green color and fill them in as I normally would. So this is pretty much what the eyebrows look like done. To tie in this yellow color so it's not just like ugly pop of yellow, I'm gonna be taking that same color, which is Pixie Dust, and I'm going to be putting it under my brow bone. It's not going to be as bright as it is on the lid, but I'm putting it on my brow bone and then kind of blending it down. Now that we've done that, I'm going to take that same angled 266 brush and this dark same poison ivy color, and we're just going to go on the outer part of our lash line, stopping a little bit right before we hit the middle. I will be applying false eyelashes. These are the Ardell Glamour Lashes in the number 111. So next, I'm just gonna do a thin coat of mascara over my eyelashes to blend them in with the false eyelashes. So I'm just gonna carefully line my waterline with this. I don't want it to be too bright, but I want it to look a little more open. So next what I'm going to be doing is taking that same like yellow green color called Pixie Dust by Makeup Geek and I'm lightly just going to apply it to my skin in the areas that don't have a lot of green just to give my face a little bit more of a sheen and um, to kind of use a little bit more of that yellow. So since we took that darker color in, we're just gonna extend it a little bit along the sides of our nose, not all the way down, but just to give our nose a little bit more of a straight look. I'm just gonna contour the cheeks a little bit, and for that, I'm taking that same Poison Ivy shade by Makeup Geek that I've been using basically the whole time, and I'm gonna take this tiny and gold brush. It has no name, I have no idea where it's from but I'm just gonna very lightly contour my cheeks. I wanna do the lips really quick, so I went back to my Flash Palette by Makeup Forever, and I mixed the green and the gold, so it's kind of like a shimmery greenish color. So I'm just gonna take a random paintbrush and go ahead and apply that to my lips. What it looks like. I want to darken them up a little bit, um, so I'm going to go in with that green just by itself and kind of apply it to the outer edges of the lips to give it more of an ombre. So I applied the green and gold to my lips. I overdrew them a little bit, and then I also want to go ahead and just do a darker green around the edges than what we have now, just so it looks a little bit more defined if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to pick up a dark green color and it doesn't really matter which one it is but it's from my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette that I've been using and I'm just going to lightly outline the edges of my lips with it. So essentially this is the finished look but I want to add a little bit of design so I'm not going to go crazy with them but I'm going to be taking the gold color from my Makeup Forever Flash palette and I'm probably just going to do a little bit of dots um, on the forehead area and then I feel like I might do some gold designs right here. So I'm just going to do those. There's really no rhyme or reason for the way I'm doing them. Just kind of do whatever you feel like to decorate it a little bit more because I honestly feel like this looks a little plain. what I wanted to do on the chest. So for the hair, I just put my Big Sexy Hair Powder Play um, volumizing powder in it. I want the hair to look really messy, almost like 
I was living in the woods because it is a fairy. So, and then I don't have a teasing comb, so I'm just taking this random brush and kind of brushing my hair to make it look really messy and kind of like a really crazy person. So I'm just gonna do this all over just so you can give yourself some volume and see like my hair won't even move because it's so... That powder by Big Sexy Hair doesn't make your hair feel nice but it definitely gives it tons of volume and I think it's perfect for what I'm doing to my hair right now because it just makes it look so big and psychotic basically. So once your hair is teased and you have your volumizing stuff in it, you're basically just going to pull it back and I want it to look super messy. It does not have to be neat or you could be like a pretty fairy with neat hair but I wanted mine to look crazy and messy. So then I'm just going to make a really big kind of messy bun and then I'm going to pull it back really fast and then just pull it out. just so it sits on my head like that and then pull some wispies down you still want to be able to see the ears obviously so people know you're an elf or a fairy and then I also have this flower crown that I got from Windsor and I'm just going to be putting this in my hair I'm kind of pulling this way and then lastly, I just have some twigs that I pulled off of a fake plant and I'm just going to be sticking them in the hair because fairies live in the woods and I'm a wood fairy, so that's why. Mm -hmm. 